Okay, hi guys. We're here tonight with Chester Mbekela, who uh, is a Tux player, now currently in the in the student group. Um, he plays for Tux One, which is a wing centre, and we're just going to have a little chat. How's it going, Chess? Oh, I'm well at you, John. Good, good, good. Thanks, man. So, um, when did you start playing rugby league? Um, well, I started in 2009 when I was called by Farney to join the uh, Tux student team that was playing the touring Australian side. So that was my first taste of league and I really enjoyed it. Oh, that's great. Did you, do you enjoy league over union? Um, at this point, yes, because in league there's less kicking, more running. So a player really gets a chance to, you know, sort of challenge his opponent in terms of, you know, running wise, beating his opponent, you know, skill wise, sidestepping and all that stuff. So I enjoy it. All right, no, that's awesome. What kind of player do you see yourself as, Chess? Um, I'm a type of player who, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm a type of player who sidesteps, runs a lot. But uh, I don't shy away from content. So you, you don't mind the, the rough stuff? No, 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 no. So what was your highlight from the past season? From the past season was definitely winning the, the final against the Middlebrook Tigers. And uh, it was my first final for Tux. Um, yeah, Tux one side? For, yeah, for Tux one side. So yeah, that was definitely the highlight. How is it playing for Tux one compared to the other sides that you've been in? Well, basically the guys at Tux one are more professional. Everyone knows what to do. So what happens is, when you slot into the side, you sort of, you know, you just sort of know what to do and uh, it makes your job easier, you know. So yeah. Now looking towards the World Cup, congratulations on making the, the 35 uh, okay. in the group that, that should be cut down to 23 by May. Um, so you've obviously achieved one of your goals set out. So what are your goals going forward now, obviously? And, and what are you looking, looking at achieving at the World Cup? Well, basically, Jono, you know, um, as a country, I'm sure as a team, our goal is to get there and win some games. I mean, you don't want to be at the World Cup and say, hey, look at us, we're South Africa and we were here. Yeah. We actually want to get there, make a statement, you know, and let, actually give those Aussies, Kiwis and uh, give them a game. guys, yeah, give them a game. You don't want to knock on the money. door, you guys want to kick it down. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's time to make a statement. Definitely. I mean, you've been training now with the guys for a couple of weeks because you made the, the, the final 35. Uh, how's the preparation going? Well, you know, the strength and conditioning is pretty good. Um, we've got two very good coaches, Jono and Dion, who are helping us, you know, really get, you know, in good condition. Um, you know, we're working hard in the gym. I mean, everyone trains individually, but I know you can see from the guys the physical aspects from when we're doing contact, everyone, you know, is working hard in the gym. So you guys so. enjoying the training? Oh, yeah, definitely. And you think definitely. if you prepare, you know, we will we'll at least do better than, you know, not to talk bad about previous uh, national sides, but I mean, obviously we want to do better than, than what our history has allowed us to do so far. Yeah, definitely, so. definitely. I think the personnel that's been acquired now is uh, definitely on point. I think uh, we've really assembled a mean, you know, 35 man squad. Um, it's going to be tough, I'm sure it's going to be tough for the coaches to cut down to 23, but uh, yeah, everyone's working to, you know, stay in the side. So, okay, well, thank you very much, Jess, and good luck, and I hope right. you make the, the World Cup side. Thanks, John. And uh, we'll see you around. Right? Thanks, John.